okay to complete the square right okay so I, I look at the first two terms of this expression okay and if that's in a square bracket there'll be x there's a minus sign there minus there if I halve the 6 I get 3 so the first part is going to is going to combine to x minus 3 all squared and when I expand this bracket x minus 3 all squared I've got a plus 9 on the end so I've got 9 too many so I need to subtract 9 and then add on the 16 so those two lines are exactly the same value so that's x minus 3 all squared now minus 9 add 16 is plus 7 so in this question a and b are to be determined so comparing that expression with the expression in the question I see that a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 7 now it says deduce the last value and then to do this, I'm going to sketch what, what I've got. And then it's easy to see what the, the lowest value is. Okay, so if I sketch x minus 3 all squared plus 7. x squared, I, I know, is just a, a, a sort of U-shaped graph that passes through the origin. So x minus 3, the minus 3 moves it three places to the right. And the plus 7 moves it up by 7 values. So... The graph will look like that. We'll cut the y-axis further up. Okay, so now I can see from this graph here that the least value of the of the of the expression, which is what I've drawn the graph of, is seven. So the least value is seven. Now it doesn't ask me in this question what what, at what value of x has that occurred, but if I need to do that, I can see the least value of seven. And that's occurring when x equals 3.